Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with Sugar Grip Roller Skates and the Dirty School of Skate and I'm here once again at the Fountain Valley Skating Center with a new video for you. Okay, this one's going to be great. I'm going to give you the five tips, tricks, skills that you need to perfect master practice so that you can be a better skater quickly. I cannot tell you how many times people ask me, how can I get better faster? How long is it gonna take me to be good? And you know, you always hear me say, I just need you guys to practice. I need you to enjoy the journey of learning how to skate. But I also realize that some of you just wanna get there sooner. So if you practice these five little skills and you really, really, really work on them, I promise you, you're gonna get better faster. Now essentially, this is my warm-up routine. Even though I've been skating for literally decades, this is the warm-up I do every single time I put my skates on, okay? So let's start with step number one. Step number one is you got to find yourself a bar, or it could be the railing, or it could simply be the back of the chairs, anything like that. And essentially what we're gonna do is a squat. Now why would we wanna do this? We wanna do this because I see this far too often. I see skaters enter the floor, and this can also be outside, or they're outside and they go to put their skates on and they're very shaky right at the beginning. They're shaky and that transmits into a kind of nervousness that doesn't leave their body for a long time, okay? And it weakens their self-confidence. I don't want that for you. I want you to feel good and confident right away. So the very first thing we can do is just, you know, oil up your joints, so to speak. You have to bend your knees so much in skating that you really got to bend them before you put your skates on and try skating. So my favorite one to do is if you have a bar, this works out really well, and my toes are right up against the uh, wall, and I will sit all the way down. Now, if you have one of these, you can also relax your back this way, and this just feels super good, so I love to do it. And then bring up yourself real slow and then bring it down. When you're in this down position, just hang out here as long as you can. Bring yourself up nice and slow. So I'll do about five of these, nice, slow, and easy. And then I'll do 10, just down, up, down, up. Now, if you don't have a bar, you're like, dirty, we don't even have a rink. How am I gonna have a bar? I'm skating outside or I'm skating in my backyard or in my garage, whatever. Then I just want arms out and you're gonna do simple squats. But I want you to hold, 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 and then up down, hold, and up, and then we'll put our arms out to the side, and I want down, and up, down, and up. You see my feet are like hips width apart, my hips are pretty wide, so my feet are out there a little bit wide, but get yours about hips apart, hips width apart. Okay, keep your chin up, shoulders straight across the neck area, nice and tight, arms out. You know how I always tell you guys to perfect your posture? This posture is going to be used in everything we do tonight. So it's chin up, shoulders straight across the neck area, nice and tight and down. Okay, so very first thing we do, basically squats or just drop down and up. This is going to get our knees warmed up and used to this kind of movement, which we constantly need in skating, okay? So that's number one. Let's get on to number two. All right, number two, we're going to number two. Number two is my absolute favorite, absolute favorite. I tell people to do this all the time. Do you want better balance? Do you want better strength? Do you want to be able to identify your edges and access your edges? Do you want to build a better butt? Do scissors. Scissors, scissors. You cannot do more scissors. You can't do too many scissors. They look like this. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, arms down. I'm gonna need you to stand up with your legs straight initially. I need you to drop your body weight down, push out, bring them in and up. So it's down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut. You gotta do loads of scissors. Alrighty, for some of you, this is gonna be difficult. For some of you, may not yet have the leg strength to 
push out and then pull in. Again, you gotta suck it in with your gut. But if you don't yet have the leg strength, I want you to focus on your knees and then the pressure on the inside and the outside of your skate. Once you drop your body weight down, I want you to think about pushing your knees out and then bring your knees in. Push your knees out, bring your knees in. Now some of you might come to a full stop and think, oh my God, you know, I, I can push it out and then I go to pull it in and I stop. Well, guess what? You just learned how to stop, so good for you. Lighten up on the weight on your skates. When you push down and out, don't give it your all and then try to bring it back in. I want you to think very, very light. Like I'm super light, okay? So I just go down, let the momentum happen, bring it up, drop it down, bring it up, drop it down, bring it up, drop it down, bring it up. Down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut, loads and loads of scissors. Bonus tip, if you keep your arms out like this a lot, for the whole time your arms are gonna get heavy. They're gonna get tired, but you need to develop nice shoulder muscles too, which is always super good. Strong arms for skating, I cannot tell you how important that is. So keep those arms out, keep that chin up, okay? Lots and lots and lots of scissors, okay? So that was number two, let's go on to number three. Alrighty, number three. Number three is all about isolating your edges to make them stronger so you can identify them and access them to do bigger and better skills. How we practice our edges are this way. First, right inside edge. Posture, don't make me repeat it. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, arms out. You are going to bend your knees. I need you to take your body weight and rock it over or shift it over to your left foot. It's gonna be about 90% of your weight is gonna be over on the left. You are going to push out with your right foot, bring it directly back. Push out, bring it back, push out, bring it back. When you push out, your knee on your right foot is going to be centered over the top of your skate, but more importantly, over your big toe. You're gonna push it out, bring it in, push it out, bring it in. You're gonna start feeling some pain and pressure, if you do this long enough, in your left leg. Okay, that's because this left leg is really holding most of your body weight and it's really stabilizing you. This is normal, so go with it. The most complicated thing is, and the most difficult part, is gonna be able to push out and bring it straight back in, push out, bring it in. I don't wanna see you standing up and just going like this. Okay, this that's, does nothing for you but create bad habits. I want you to actually tell yourself, I'm standing up, I've got proper posture, I can lower my arms to here, make me feel more comfortable. Drop my body weight, shift my body weight. Push out on that inside edge, bring it right back in. Push out, bring it in, push out, bring it in. Maybe you need to do this like 20, 25 times. One, two, three, okay. Then you're gonna switch to your left inside edge. And this is going to be awkward. This is going to be awkward because we're skating in the regular skating direction, which is counterclockwise. So I now have to shift my body weight to my right foot, okay, my right leg, and I'm pushing in and out like this. And you're gonna feel like, my God, this is awkward. It feels weak, but it's not. It's very normal, okay? Just hold on to this edge. Make sure your knee is over your big toe. This knee's over this big toe and you're pushing out. Focus, say this is my left inside edge as I push it out, left inside edge, push it out, push it out, push it out. This is your stabilizing leg, this is your, your push. Okay, now, so that was our right inside, left inside, right inside, left inside. Now, let's take it in the opposite skating direction. Okay, let's go clockwise. All right. Good skating, Xavier. Now, when we're going this way, we're gonna push with our left inside, push, left inside, push, left inside, push. We're holding with this outer edge here. Left inside, push, we're gonna make a turn right here. Left inside, push, 
now we're going to do right inside push as we go this way, which is clockwise. And I'm going to remember, this one's going to be awkward. Inside edge push. Right there. Okay. So if you can handle these little edging exercises, you're gonna get so much better at being able to identify, access, and use these edges, all right? Um, because essentially, as we're working on one, we're holding the other. I'm working on this edge right here, pushing out, bringing in, pushing out, bringing in, and this one is holding. I'm pushing out, bringing in, pushing out, bringing in. It's holding. You can do them on the straightaways. You can do them on the corners. The other part of this, you just got to get kind of zen in the brain. Even if there's a bunch of people at the rink, just focus and push out, pull in, push out, pull in, push out, pull in. And again, count. Maybe you do it 20, 25 times, whatever it is, just get it on a count. Okay, so that was number three. Come back for number four. Four, 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 four. four. Let's talk about number four. I'm gonna revisit my favorite thing, it's scissors. Scissors, but with an addition. When we push out, we have to bring it back in and squeeze our thighs together. We're gonna push them out, bring them in, and squeeze. It's gonna be down, out, up, squeeze. As we cross our feet over, leg strength galore is gonna be developed when you learn how to bring in those inner thigh muscles, also footwork, your feet are gonna have to learn how to not run into each other. This is how it looks when they cross. Now you're naturally gonna be better at one side. One side's gonna come over and this other side is gonna be like, I'm weak and helpless and I can't do it. I don't believe that. Even them up, all right? You gotta work on both sides. I cannot and will not tolerate you having a good foot. I need a good foot and maybe an up and coming foot, but I don't need a bad foot or I can't do it foot. I know you can all with practice. Arms out, down with the butt, up with the gut, suck it in and cross. Down with the butt, up with the gut, suck it in and cross. Down with the butt, up with the gut, suck it in and cross. This isn't easy. Again, not easy. If you get frustrated with this, fine, no problem. It just means you need to work on that and I'm okay and I'll be here with you every step of the way. I just need you to focus. Part of our focus is proper body posture. Again, I'll say it a hundred times. Chin up, shoulders straight across. Snack area tight. Whew. Arms out. Focus. Focus, grasshoppers. It's gonna be like this. I'm gonna go down with the butt, up, suck it in and cross, down with the butt, up, suck it in and cross, down, suck it in and cross, cross, and then pretty soon you're like, dude, I got this. I can do it. I can look good. All right, that's number four. Come back and see me for number five. Are you back for number five? Good. Let's talk turning and by turning, I mean a little bit of spinning. And by spinning, I don't mean something like super intense. I don't need you to spin. I just need you to turn in a circle, but we're gonna do both ways. And I promise you, this helps with balance. This helps with agility. This helps you to learn how to skate in both directions, which you need to. Remember what I said about having a good foot? Some people have a good direction. I need you to go both ways. Alrighty, so this is how we're gonna do it. I don't need you to tell you about posture. Chin up, shoulders straight across, neck area tight, arms down. Bend your knees. I'm gonna turn this direction. When I turn this direction, I need to lean in the opposite direction of travel. So I'm gonna bend my knees, drop my hips, shift my body weight over here, put my arms out, look, and bring it around. If that's even too advanced for you, how about this? How about you drop your hips, lean. I'm gonna turn this way. I look behind me, pick up my feet, move around, down, lean, 
turn. Okay? Do it each direction again. Lean, look, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Lean, look, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. When you pick up your feet, you don't have to do this big, wide thing going around. You can just pick it up like a little ch -ch -ch. No, dancer, like that. I need you to practice picking up your feet. I need you to practice moving in a circle. The more fun you have with it, the easier it is. But here's the biggest trick about it. You're down, I need you to look and then bring your body around. That means head turns shoulder, shoulder turns hip, hip turns foot. I don't want you to start with the feet. I want you to look, open yourself up, pick up those feet and move around. All right, it's as simple as that. If you want to do it more advanced, you're gonna put your arms out, pull them around, pull them in until you want to stop, put those arms back out. All righty, so practice that. That's gonna be for turning, agility, balance, and all that jazz. All right, skaters, so let's review. I have taken you through basic squatting. Up and down, up and down, up and down. To oil up these joints and make your body feel good because you're gonna go out and skate and you need to be loose. I never want you getting on the floor or taking your first stride outside and feeling like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Already do a ton of these and warm it up. Second thing we talked about was scissors. Stay right there, I'm coming to you. I cannot express how much I love scissors. Down, up. Down, push it out, bring it up. Down with the butt, up with the gut, down with the butt, up with the gut, okay? So that was number two. And then we went on to number three. What was number three? Does anyone remember? What was my number three? Oh, edges, <laughs> yeah. I love my edges. I need you to push out, push in, push out, pull in, push out, pull in. Other foot, other foot, other foot, okay? You gotta do your edges. And then number four, what was number four? Xavier shouted out, <gasps> scissors, bring it together and squeeze those thighs together. Let me show you what that looks like one more time. It's gonna be down with the butt, up with the gut and squeeze. Down with the butt, up with the butt, or up with the gut and squeeze. And the last one, of course, is turning. Turning, 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 all right? Now, I have videos specifically on all of these things. Okay, if you wanna, wanna see all about edges, it's how to roller skate, part two, edges. If you wanna know more about scissors, watch my video, how to cruise on your roller skates. I have a video on how to spin. I mean, I, I, it's all there. Okay, you can watch those videos at length, but, why I wanted to make this video is just give you five things to work on so every time you hit the floor, you have a practice plan. Because I think a lot of us just come out on the floor, start skating, and then we get overwhelmed by maybe the atmosphere, the music, who's on the floor, what's going on, and we don't have a proper pl practice plan. So let's try to use this, okay? Now I wanna hear about your results. So let me know in the comment section, let me know if this was helpful for you. And if you have any other suggestions for videos, you know I like your suggestions and I will certainly incorporate them into future videos because I love to help. So again, if you're ever here in the Southern California area and you wanna to come to the Fountain Valley Skating Center, make sure you send me a little message before and maybe I'll be able to meet you down here. I'd love to see you, please. Please do me a solid and subscribe to this channel. The more subscribers I have, the easier it is for me to make more videos. And I love it. And I thank you so much. Hit the uh, notification bell. I'm going to crank out a ton of videos because it's summer. And I got more time now. All right, skaters. So go practice these five skills, tricks, tips, and whatnot. And I will see you in my next video.